Well, here we are. Last same save point as before. Well, I mean, yeah, we were just here, but like in the last video, uh, was something supposed to have happened? No. Were we supposed to start a, dif a different save point? I mean, we could have if I felt like it, but I think that is literally the last save point. The final save point. So this is it, the final boss, huh? So the wings of Valamar, the... Wait a minute, wrong game. We'll put the eye of Valmar there. And some arms we stole from a guy. Did Valamar have arms? I think he did. No, I don't think they did the arms. They did the horn, the wings, the eye, and the mouth. Wasn't it the stomach or something? <laughs> well, it was the they used the mouth. The mouth of Valmar. The tongue of Valmar, something like oh, that. Oh, yeah, it was the tongue of Valmar. Those are the only four I remember. If there was more, I can't remember them. There probably was. It's gonna kind of bug me, but what happens if you get hit by the searchlight? Ah, uh, well, there's a fight. One, one final golem fight. Aha. Uh -huh. Trying to avoid this, are we? Well, I'd like to. But haha, -ha, suck! Fuck you. <laughs> It's motion sensing. However, the door's like, aha, fuck you. Aha. No, Rick. Fuck you. Area 51. Huh. It's a chariot with lances built in. I. I swear I've seen this thing somewhere before. Dark Souls? No. Um. FF7? Because it sure looks like an enemy from FF7, I recall. It looks really familiar, but I can't quite recall what it's reminding me of. <laughs> well, this golem lost its leg, so we just kind of put wagon wheels on it instead. Yeah, I mean, it works for cats. <laughs> We didn't exactly have golem legs running around. We had to use them to open a separate, unrelated puzzle in the dungeon. I'm imagining a cat with bionic legs. Well, they're there to do that. Well, probably not like actual cool looking bionic cat feet. Huh. More like those things. Like those prosthetic feet that are like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hook shaped. Mm -hmm. God, what the fuck is this thing making me think of? It's like a, a metabot or something? I don't know. Or. or... No, I... Maybe it's like one of the viruses from Mega Man EXE. Could be that, too. <laughs> I wish I had some way to make these boss fights interesting, but they're really not. Yeah, it's... Aside from the goofy design, there's really not a whole lot going on here. I mean, the best I can really do is give it, like, sweet music like they did for the sub -bosses. That was pretty sweet, I had to admit. And then the door was open, because, you know... Well, security system goes off, and we'll open the door. Just in case, you know, the goal needs to get through. Yeah, because that makes total sense. What's with all the naked lady statues, anyway? 
Sure, we'll hit we'll 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 hit the switch and go back to Kadingaling. I mean, I guess if we have to. So now we're in free fall. Cecilia seems largely as unconcerned about it as she did before. Here we are at back at Kadingaling. Surely it was like. A, uh, like an elevator that will lead you straight back to the end of the dungeon, right? That's definitely definitely what happened. Somehow I feel as though that's not really what happened. Well, here we are, back at Marmaduke. Except no, we're back at the beginning of the dungeon. Anyway, that's what it would have happened if I had gone down that elevator. So let's not do that. Now that we've explored this what if scenario. So, yeah, it seems. Um, hmm. Why in the hell would they do that? Be a dick. Look at that blue ass planet. Hmm. <laughs> Look, either way, you're late. Minus the city part? I mean, there. I guess there was a residential area, but... Burn to the ground, burn to the ground, burn to the ground! At some point I will have to play X7. Anyway, let's fight Siegfried again. So is this jerk actually the final boss? Or... Yes, actually. How many different forms are we talking about here? Eh, only two. Yeah, but what if I cast buff shit? Let me make this boss fight drag out even longer. I like how Siegfried's sword is supposed to be a sword, but it really looks more like a spear. Yeah, especially at this angle. It's not very sword-like. With an absurdly long, long, or large blade. It's like fucking Soul Edge without the meat. Without, yeah, without the gross meat. Although that's probably not an actual eyeball, that's probably actually a gem. I can't even remember if Soul Edge came out before or after this. I think it might have actually come out before it. Not that Soul Edge got its iconic design until Soul Calibur, so... Which definitely came after this. I mean, I'd have to double check, but I'm fairly certain of that. This is how I think, uh... Ugh. Soul Calibur was made on Naomi hardware. And thus, well, destined for the Dreamcast. Mm-hmm. Good old Dreamcast. We should make another one of those. I think Sega could pull it off. Well, hmm. Hmm. let's not say anything we can't take back, Alex. Well, I could, I could always take it back at a later date. <laughs> well, they have a fairly good odds of succeeding. Compared to what? Uh, 
well, how they were before. Making a system who's so easy, almost as easy as the 3DS and PSP to pirate for. In fact, it will quite literally end the future for everybody. Uh, yeah, kind of. Absolute darkness! Kingdom Hearts! <laughs> Kingdom Hearts, where is my heart? Oh no, an eclipse is happening! Oh no, how could this have occurred? Somebody spilled some ink all over the planet. It's just some guy up in the projector booth putting his hand over it very slowly. <laughs> Is he laughing or choking on his own blood? I can't tell. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be that weird, like, cackling laugh. Well, that's not really sudden. Like, if a machine is in motion when you turn it off, it still moves, like, a little bit as momentum carries it. Also, by the way, here's Mother again. Uh, what? Because I ate him, you see. Uh, hmm. Like Queen Slug for a butt, except, like, the upper half is attractive. This reminds me of, like, the final boss of Bayonetta for some reason. Only less gross, pulsating insect part on the bottom? Yes. Queen pulsating pus filled. Um, room. let me. It's Queen ugly, sweaty, festering, bloated, pus filled, malformed slug for butt. Yeah, like that. It's like that, but they cut off like everything below the waist and was like, okay, well, maybe we'll put something like actually feminine on the top. Why could it be the other kind of mermaid with the fish part of the top and the lady part of the bottom? I don't think it would make a difference in this case. I guess it depends on what your intent was. If it was like making out, then yeah, the lady part on the top and fish part on the bottom not as big of a deal. But if it was the sexy part, well, you'd need the lady part at the bottom. The downside is you'd need a really big paper bag. Quite so. I mean, I guess unless you're into fish. Make that into fish. Unless it was, well, not even, not even if it was one of those, like, Slayer-style fish people. Which is literally just a fish with goofy looking arms and legs. Oh god. <laughs> oh. I was considered the most attractive member of my tribe. And then Lena ate him. Well, not Lena, but all of uh, Zulgar's attention ate him. Oh uh, yeah. I, I haven't seen it in a while. <laughs> my memory is fuzzy, but... <laughs> Now he's a lunch special. Shoot that thing with the bazooka. The only recorders. Except bazooka is weak sauce. It's no Resident Evil rocket launcher, I'll tell you that. Meanwhile, Cecilia over there wearing the sheriff's town like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, that did not escape my attention. That's why it's the best accessory in the game. Basically like, oh, you know what? Who cares? She had Jack and Rudy are getting their asses kicked over there. Cecilia's just like buffing her nails on her shirt. 
Sorry, I'm too pure and virginal to be actually be damaged by actual attacks. Lay down the heels and shoot Jesus! Jesus! I was actually expecting that to do zero damage, but... This is a Chrono Trigger, stop that. Well, I mean, the end of all things is absolute. I mean, heat death of the universe will eventually happen. Oh no, the whole solar system! It happened sooner than we thought! Huh. Even, though, even though it looked like four different versions of Jupiter. It looked more like Mother Free was choking on a Dorito or something. Um, yes, yeah, Cecilia, basically. Good thing we're still in this space colony. What the? Somebody's just running their hand up and down a harp. Yeah, Rudy, do something. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way, and it sure looks like the earth covered in a fucking ch giant shadow. My god, that sound effect. Instead, we get this sound instead. Get ready for like two minutes of this. The sound of somebody leaving. Guardians left the kettle on. Oh, the power. All the guardians just pop out of nowhere and dogpile Cecilia. That's what I took away from it, yeah. The absolute power of turning on the giant light. We are we are the guardians, the guardians of Philgaia. Mother freed whoever is before him. Fuck off. <laughs> I don't even say that with the appropriate accent, but sorry. What were we talking about? I stopped paying attention. The noise was irritating me. Something about the Guardians can fix the planet, but humans have to actually, you know, give a shit. So, the planet is doomed. They have to believe. Yeah, let's go back next time on Radical Bromance.